Eureka Math Grade 4, Module 3, Page 1, The Area and the Perimeter. Question 1, determine the perimeter and the area of rectangle A and B. So the formula for the area is area, means A for area, equals length times width. This is L, guys. So this is the length and the width. So the width right here, I don't have the units. So units uh, always means centimeters, inches, but right here I don't have any um, specific unit. So, so I will say units. So this is the width is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven blocks means W equals seven and the length equals nine. If I count them, these are nine. So this is um, shape A, and the area means the space inside the rectangle. This is the area, guys. Okay, this is the area inside the rectangle. And we always write down square units. When I finish and find out the answer, should be square units. Uh, so the length right here is 9, so 9, times, and the width is 7. So 9 times 7 equals 63. So 63, let's find out. 63 square units. So I write it down right here. 63 square units. And for the um, multiplication uh, table for number 9, so I have right here, so uh, I write down 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the black numbers. And then I start from 9 and count down 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And this is for one nine, two nines, three nines, and this is seven nines, means seven times nine, which equals 36. It's this one, this number. So the answer right here, so the answer is 63, and so 63 square units for the area. Then I have to find the P. P means the perimeter. The perimeter equals side 1. This is side 1. And this is, guys, side 1. And this is side 2. Make it in different color. Um, in green. Side 2. And side 3. Sorry, and um, side four, which is this one. And if I notice side one and side three, these are parallel sides. So these are equal sides. So this is equal seven units, and this one should be seven too. Uh, so this is the width and the length. This side. The green sides are equals, or sorry, uh, yeah, they are equals first because these sides are parallel, guys. So they're supposed to be equal in the rectangle shape. So if this is equals 9 units, so this one should be 9 units. So the perimeter, I will add the 7. So I will start, let's say, from this point uh, I let's name it as C so I start from C so it's 7 plus 9 plus 7 plus 9 so it's 7 plus 9 plus 7 
plus 9. And when I add 7 plus 7 equals 14 plus 9 plus 9, 18. So if I add them right here, 14 plus 18, so the answer 4 plus 8 is 12, 2, and regroup the 1, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 32. This is 2, guys, and we should add these two numbers. And the answer is 32. And for the units, guys, I have to write down just units. Okay? So for right here, let's write down units. Um, so units. 32 units. It means I don't have square units in when I find the perimeter. So the um, answer is 32 units. Question number two. Determine the perimeter and the area for each rectangle. So the first one, so it has six width and or six width here and five length so six this um this side parallel to this side so they're supposed to be equal so this supposed to be six centimeters too in this shape guys i have the units the unit is a centimeter so um and the other side i will mark it in green these are parallel sides so in the rectangle each parallel sides they supposed to be equals so this is five and this is five centimeters so for the area i know the area is length times width which equals six times five so six times up uh, times five if i count by five so it will be 30 and don't forget for the area i'll write down square centimeters so so right here i will go and enter so i write down square centimeters so this is for the 30 so the answer is 30 square centimeters and for the perimeter i start from the blue dot which is i called it c so from c so it's six plus five plus six plus five so i know six i will make it first six plus five plus six plus five so the answer is i know five plus five five plus five equals ten and six so I have, and 6 plus 6 is 12, so 12 plus 10 equals 0 plus 2 is 2, and it's a 22. So the answer equals 22, but the answer now is just 22 centimeters. I'm not going to put square for the perimeter. So this is, guys, for the perimeter question 2b so this is question 2a we're done question 2c uh, sorry b uh, so we have three centimeters and eight centimeters so this is the width or the length it doesn't matter so i'll call it like width and this is length so um the answer 
So the width to 3 times the length 8. So it's a 24. I know 3 times 8, 24. So I count by, uh, so I need 3 8s. 8 plus 8 plus 8. So the answer is 24. And don't forget, guys, square centimeters. Because this is the area. And the area inside the shape is the space inside, guys, the shape. And if we count these uh, blocks, it will be 24 blocks. And for the perimeter, I will start from C. So it's 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 8. So these two are equals, guys, because these are parallel sides. And these are parallel sides, too. You can different color. These are parallel, parallel sides, too. So supposed to be equal. So 3 plus 8, 11. And plus 3 plus 8 plus 11. So it's 11 plus 11 which is 22 and don't forget guys centimeters so there is no square in the perimeter 